I like to think that I put the fun in financial, you know, because we don't have financial planning. We have financial planning over here. So okay. um, <laughs> to, to go back to where it all started, one of the big things that stood out as I was working at Brio was, you know, you, there was a minimum number of assets that a client needed to have. Um, and I remember talking to Natalie one day at lunch about, you know, my personal finances and, and thinking like, gosh, she's such a wealth of information. Like I was making 200 K as a uh, professional athlete. There was no way for me to amass with the kind of level of intellect that I had or financial literacy that I had a million dollars in order to be able to get access to such a wonderful firm. And that was kind of the catalyst for, like I said, the thing that got me really excited about the financial planning industry, but also saying like, how can I put the fun in financial and figure out how to be able to serve people in a different way? So I came as kind of this blank slate saying like, there's, you know, there's this way that financial planning is done and the way that people grow their assets under management and the, the way that f firms run. And I'm like, all of that sounds boring and I don't want to do it like that. How can I do it instead? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so to get to the point of your question, I thought about the things that I needed as an athlete. Um, I needed, like I said, basic literacy, even though I had good earnings and I was willing to pay for help. It was like, there's some other thing. I needed someone to say things in layman's terms. I didn't want, you know, someone to talk over my head. I wanted it to be okay to, you know, use an F-bomb if I needed to, or to wear a t-shirt and make people feel comfortable as opposed to being in a big conference room, looking at fancy charts and graphs. That's, that's not how we operate as athletes. And I found that it was not how a lot of young professionals in general work. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we like community. We like being able to, to connect with one another. And so, you know, my main service offering at this point is financial retreats. Uh, to your point, it's a group offering where we go to a location, either local uh, in the city. So, you, you know, kind of drive in for a staycation or we go on an international location, which Columbia will be our first international uh, location coming up here in January. Um, and we learn money stuff. You know, we walk through the pieces of a financial plan over the course of a series of days. You have other people, real life, other people's real life experience to be able to kind of fill in the gaps in addition to my financial expertise pointing you in the right way. Um, and then you also get accountability from one another. So you may not need a long-term ongoing financial planner, or maybe you do, but you weren't really open to even working with a financial advisor because of some of the things you've heard or you don't really understand them. You get in a really fun environment, you learn the basics, and then it's the catalyst for you to be able to continue on organizing your finances. <laughs>